Hello friends, this is Ishwa here and in this video let us see how to install MIUI for POCO on the Redmi Note 4. So for that to work you need to download some files. So uh, make sure you, are un uh, you have unlocked your bootloader and you have a custom recovery installed. So here here is the HDA thread, I will leave the link in the description box below. As you can see here is a link. This is the link for the recovery which you need to install. So make sure you already have a custom recovery so that we can get into that recovery and then install this image file. And then you, ju you just need to download this one which is the POCO F1 Mido zip file itself. After downloading this too, uh, we need to download another zip file which is a fix file. I will leave, a leave the link in the description box for this too. Just download this also and then we are good to go. So now after downloading the required files just get into your recovery and then install the new custom recovery which you have downloaded as you can see here is the recovery image file just select recovery and then swipe to install reboot recovery if it doesn't reboot the recovery just hold down the volume up and power button it will just boot into the recovery now after you are booted into the new recovery which you have downloaded just get into backup and select whichever is the lowest file for me here is the persist file which is 0 MB I can just swipe to backup and then just reboot into the system the reason why we are doing this is because it will create a backup folder in the file manager so that we can copy the required files into that folder after booting into the system just get into file manager and get into the downloaded zip file the POCO F1 zip file extract it now after it is extracted get into the folder and then select all the files cut it and move to internal storage select twrp and select backups and then select it over the latest backup you have if it asks to replace anything just select replace and then it will be moved now all you need to do is just a boot into the recovery again select wipe advanced wipe system dalby catch vendor data and then cache then select swipe to wipe now come back select restore and select the latest backup you have done and then swipe to restore it will take some time so just sit back and relax so as you can see the restore is now completed we can just tap on reboot system and it must boot into the ROM now as you can see it has just booted into the ROM let's just get started I will set up as a new phone now if it asks to sign into your me account just select on forgot password as it is not working properly right now you cannot log in into your me account so just skip that part as you can see, I'm just adding my fingerprint and that works. Let me select POCO permissions for POCO launcher and that's pretty much it. You have just booted into the POCO ROM for your device. As you can see, the navigation button is working but it is not lighting up. So there is a fix file for it, there is a zip file which we have already downloaded. We can just boot into TWRP recovery and then flash it and then we can just check it out whether it is working. So let us just get into settings right now. Bot phone. And as you can see the Android version is Oreo. As you can see the model number is POCO F1. System update MIUI 10 and it is asking for update but it is safe to not to update so just leave it away as we have installed a custom GSI and it is not preferable to update via OTAs if you want to fix the na not navigation bar LEDs then just uh, use the zip fix file which we have already downloaded so the fingerprint is working properly but Whenever we lock the device, it is getting into full brightness and then locking the device. But the fingerprint is pretty much fast than the other custom ROMs we have. As you can see, the sound is very very loud. 
I think the brightness slider has some issues if we restart it maybe it could be fixed. Now after flashing this LED fixed DIOD5 zip file the phone seems to be working even more better like the display sl brightness slider is working perfectly, icons are arranged perfectly and many more things are working good so do make sure that uh, you install that zip file after the uh, ROM is installed. So that's pretty much it for this video. If you like this video hit the like button and if you want to share this video with your friends hit the share button. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Peace.